You are probably aware that both MCSoft Internet Security and MCSoft Anti-Malware come with state-of-the-art behavior blocking technology to protect you from zero-day threats. However, here at MCSoft, we don't just like to talk about it. So here's a demonstration of our behavior blocker against 20 different ransomware samples. So we're going to go through this one by one. We're going to run each threat on an unprotected system and then we're going to run it on a system running MCSoft Behavior Blocker. We won't have any other guards active, it'll just be the Behavior Blocker and the malware. So tighten your seat belts and get ready for some serious malware action. The first ransomware sample in our list is BitCrypt. And as you can see, we've got some really important documents over here. But as we run the ransomware, it is going to encrypt all of these files and display a message as you can see right now. But if we do the same thing with the same BitCrypt ransomware with MCSoft Behavior Blocker, you can see it is immediately detected and quarantined. The next ransomware is Sendoed. And uh, keep in mind, we are doing the test just with the MCSoft Behavior Blocker, not with the file guard and uh, the surf protection. It's just the Behavior Blocker. Sendoed once again encrypts the files, changes the background, but the Behavior Blocker classifies it as malware. And this is all automatic so far. No user alerts. Now this is Chimera, another variant of ransomware, different type of message, same result. Files are encrypted. But when uh, we run it on the protected system, once again, it's automatically blocked by the behavior blocker. This is Crypt Infinite, and it worked pretty quickly, and our files are no longer accessible. Now, on the protected system, immediately flagged as malware by the behavior blocker. The next one is Crypto Fortress. And uh, it gives us some weird messages. It puts the files on your CD, DVD drive to write and uh, encrypts your files. Same malware on the MCSoft system is blocked immediately. Now we go for a very popular ransomware, CryptoWall3, which has claimed many victims this year. And as you can see, it opens a web page telling you how to decrypt the files or basically pay them. And none of these files are now accessible. Let's see what happens on the protected system. Once again, immediately caught by the behavior blocker. Now it's Crypto Wall 4 time, a newer variant of Crypto Wall 3, and works immediately, encrypts the files. We're in trouble. But if we try the same thing here, immediately blocked once again. Now we're going to try the popular GP code malware. And uh, once again, it just uh, totally destroys our files. But on the protected system, it does display the text message, but it's unable to encrypt any of the files. Let's open one and see, and there you go. Our files are safe. It's just the text message that was the modification. All other actions were blocked. Now we're trying out Harassum, another type of ransomware. And uh, as you can see, it's encrypted our files and completely locked the screen. Now on the MCSoft system, and uh, it's blocked. Let's move on. This is PC Lock, another very popular ransomware variant. And it opens several command line windows, which, um, you know, is pretty ominous. And uh, once it's done, 
It's a dreadful screen to look at. All your files are encrypted and it's got that red message and uh, that timer ticking away. But as uh, with the other files, Behavior Blocker is able to deal with that. Now we're talking about RAS, which is another ransomware. Or RAS, however you like to call it. Once again, encrypts files. Let's see if it's able to do that here. Nope. Caught by the behavior blocker, and so far we haven't seen any alerts. It's all been automatic. Now this is Radamant. It gives us a critical error, and then our files are encrypted. It opens up a web page telling you once again to pay them within a certain amount of time. Same malware on the MCSoft system. And we're still waiting for a response. It's flagged and uh, removed. Now we're going to try out Rackney, another ransomware. Once again, command line window pops up, and then you see your files are encrypted and you've got some instructions to decrypt them. Let's try the same malware again. And once again, automatically blocked. Well, in, in this case, we do get one user alert but it's a pretty clear warning and you just have to perform the recommended action. But that was one case where you actually had to intervene. Now we're trying out Skia, another ransomware variant. Same one on the protected system and it's blocked automatically. Now we're going to try out Tesla Crypt. This was popular with, you know, games it used to encrypt game files as well so bad news for you know people who spend like hundreds of hours creating the perfect safe game for themselves let's see if mcsoft can protect your games no well, once again blocked automatically that's good news Now we're trying out Tox, another ransomware variant. And here we do get a pop-up, but as you can see, none of the files are actually encrypted. Now we're trying out Trolldash, another ransomware variant. All sorts of weird names, of course. This one actually gives you an alert that Windows Explorer stops working and, uh, well, you're stuck with this screen. Enjoy. However, on the protected system, it's blocked immediately. Now we're trying out Unlock, another ransomware, and, well, not a very pleasant uh, name for the recovery option. Now we're trying it out on the protected system. Con blocked. Now we're trying out Sorist. Uh-oh, those icons don't look good. Neither does the desktop background. On the MSOF system, it's blocked. Zero Locker is our next malware sample. Let's see what happens on the unprotected system. It's taking a while. But that doesn't mean we're safe. Now our files are encrypted. Same malware on the MCSoft protected system. Once again, Behavior Blocker gets rid of it and our files are safe. And uh, as you can see, all of our files are intact after running all the 20 malware samples. And uh, the Behavior Blocker was successfully able to deal with all of these. As you can see, they're all quarantined. 
So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. This is uh, Leo from MCSoft wishing you happy holidays. See you in the next one.